Hello and welcome back to the Mega Life Bros podcast. This is the second episode. Uh, there's not too much going on in the news this week. Some, but uh, we thought we'd try something a little bit new this week with the game that we're playing. We're going to be playing Fighters. Um, switching off every game, uh, and we're going to each choose a character in a team of three, and then we're just going to have to make it work. We're going <laughs> to, I think it'd be fun to try to make a team that's not like already well known to be working together and just, and we all have like different I'll, characters that we like. <laughs> I'll so, just purposely make a bad team if that's the case. So, uh, let's go to the edit team. I know, I know. Okay, okay. Okay, so first you could you you pick the first character you take. I want Krillin. Oh gosh, <laughs> I was not Everyone. expecting that. Okay, Joseph, He's sixteen there. Oh gosh, um, let's see. Uh, this is gonna be the anchor. Um, it has to be someone really good. Really good. Not Beerus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, who's a good anchor? Uh, Everyone can be a good anchor if you believe in yourself. Let's have... Uh, let's have Vegito. Oh, where'd he go? Did I just start? That is the weirdest team I could ever think of. It's the best team. We're on a fairly All right, Joseph, unused we're gonna... account. Challenge? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You're gonna see us get creamed except for Jacob. Well, um, I don't know how to play any of these characters except for Vegeta. Okay, uh... So... For news this week, we have the Fighters patch actually came out. Um, we talked about it last week, like anticipating it, what might happen, and what we hope will happen, and then it came out basically the next day. Um, so, well, this guy hasn't played either. <laughs> Um, Krillin, oh my gosh, I can't believe you picked Krillin. Krillin's <laughs> good, okay. <laughs> He's good if you know how to use him. Um, so, a lot changed, and a lot didn't change. It's still, it's still fighters, like, there's no, like, assist changes or, um, major differences in the game, it's just... Mostly small things that kind of make some OP characters less OP and the lower tier characters just a little, little smidge better. Like, Beerus oh. is still the worst character in the game, <laughs> but he got a little bit better, so he's just a little bit better of a worse character. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh man, these controls. So, it's a huge patch note, patch, patch note breakdown. Um, nice. <laughs> um, but, for the most part, the characters that I play didn't change too much. Vegeta Blue got <coughs> a little bit of a buff with like his Big Bang attack. <laughs> Vegito. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Vegito got some changes in his like flurry kick, I guess. Um, and Adult Gohan didn't really get much. He missed completely. Um, let's see. Oh crap. 
I think it's on the Bardock and Cell got nerfed, but not completely. They're still pretty good characters. I don't think they're top tier anymore, but I'm sure we still will see them in like high level play, just not as much. Uh, Kid Boo got hit really hard, from what I hear. Yeah, apparently he's still really good, like, no matter what, anyway, so... He's still viable, like... You just have to use your brain. <laughs> yeah. Apparently he just doesn't have, like, a... Super... He can't... He can't just sit there and lock you down for forever and... Those... Mix you up like crazy like he used to be able to. Um, I haven't read up on a lot of the patch notes, just the characters that I have. Oh, and... ranked up. I, I deserve that. Yes. <laughs> Jill's just playing now. I just... Jacob did the first game. Yeah, and Jacob Snowy. is the best in this game, and I am the worst, so... <laughs> Be prepared for a... a very... Um... <laughs> you just have to blow yourself up. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah, Krillin, get him! There's apparently a lot of blue Vegeta changes. I don't really... I didn't really notice any. I think there were, like you said, one of his supers was... Like, his length of one of his supers was extended or something, but... Besides that, like, Team Gohan kinda got buffed, and I started using him, and... He's still... hasn't changed that much, but... Like, whatever. And like Johnny said, like, Kid Buu... So all those top tiers are are nerfed, and they're still viable. They're still you'll still see them everywhere, I think, but they're not like super broken anymore. Yeah, I think Cell like got a like like his frames slowed down. Wake up, level three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Galaxy Brain! <laughs> um, some of the cells, like, startup frames got slowed down, so, like, he can't, like, just endlessly loop stuff anymore. And he can't, like, mix you up like crazy. But, uh, besides that, I, I never played Cell, so I don't know. And I play a lot of Blue Vegeta, and he still feels some similar. It's just mostly he is... Big Bang got a huge buff, and he got... His uh, blue kicks that you just saw right there, they all got, um, they kind of got, those got nerfed actually, because you could just loop them forever if you were really good, I was never that good. But like, his old optimal corner combo was, like, doing those three, each, each one of those kicks in succession, so like, you'd start with the light, then hit him up, do the medium, and then do the heavy version. And then, um, can, then you can go from there. But now they're, once you do it in the air once, you can't do it again. Unless it's like a special situation. But you can't just endlessly loop them anymore. So. Oh! Dude, twice in a row? <laughs> it worked! <laughs> the only thing I know how to do in this game. Wake up level three. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, he is a lot better. It's just... I think Vegeta Blue was always good, just people didn't want to play him. I don't know. <laughs> he always did a really wow. good damage. Like, if you knew how to play him, I was always able to get 40% damage in a combo once I started going. I don't know, man. Like, an, an Evo... His, his normals aren't the best. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Dude, you have three bars. Do it again. <laughs> Yeah! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that totally worked. He's like, I'm gonna copy let me high, you know? Um His normals aren't the best, like he has really short range, because he's a short he's a short character, but he has big hitboxes on his auto combos. Oh, um, nice. and he has the potential to mix people up really good. It's just you have to know how to use him. Yeah, I don't know, like I think but I do think he needed a damage buff to get people to really look at him seriously. Yeah, competitively, I don't think he's that viable. Like, I think everyone is viable if you're not a, like, super competitive level. 
Like, even at Evo, like, we saw, like, Broly's and Team Gohan and stuff, and it was really cool. But then we... <laughs> we never saw any Beerus or Blue Vegeta or... I didn't watch all of it, but I didn't see 18 either. Maybe once, but... Um... I don't know Krillin at all! You just... Or Android 16. You do a quarter circle back to throw the rock. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you need to know. Oh, crap! <laughs> Get out of here! Just keep mashing buttons! Get out of here. But I don't really, like... I... Have played Gotenks since day one, and I kind of dropped him for Team Gohan because I just like Team Gohan a lot better as a character. Hey, my best character that I know. Um, and he ah. got like some nerfs and some buffs as I was like playing as him in training mode. I noticed that some combo with machine this gun. This guy punch. is not a gray square at all. Yeah, he is. He's definitely a white square. <laughs> he got hit by three wake up level threes. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, just some things have changed, like, the last balance patch that came out, um, a lot of people are underwhelmed, like, this doesn't change anything at all, but, like, over the, the long haul- What does that after image do? Nothing? You just have to hold down the button and then, ah! then you'll attack. Okay, get out of there. <laughs> this is my, this is my strategy for living, is just keep switching out. Mm. And auto combos! So yeah, the last patch that happened ah! before this one... Get out of here. People were like, oh, yeah! this is such a dumb patch, like, nothing changed except for bug fixes, but, like, the few changes that no! did happen, like, 16 is now nowhere to be found because his ridiculous hard knockdown is is gone. Um, and Cell... I think Cell had, like, one... No, no, that was, a, like, really minor change that didn't really matter at all. Ah! He's dead. Crap, no! Dude. Get out of there! Oh, you got it! <laughs> so... Yeah, like, I think... I think people are expecting this patch to change the world, but I think, instead, it's just gonna keep the game more alive because everyone was getting sick of seeing Kid Boo and What was that? So. That was not a vanish. Oh crap, I forgot about that. And even though I think oh. they're still really good, probably still oh, the best, they're like other characters are like now closer to them as a result. But yeah, other than that I don't really have much to say about the patch other than I think CN Ah oh, that's not gonna work. Ah! <laughs> Tien's probably you're gonna see Tien a lot, I think. Because yeah, he got his, a big buff. Yeah, and he was already really he got good. Got a really cool buff too. He splits up with his volleyball thing, doesn't he? Yeah. The thing is, it costs two bars to extend the combo, but. Ah! Nope. That's <laughs> all up to Krillin. Joseph, you did better than I did. Because I know I use 16. I mean. Yeah, the rock. <laughs> yeah! The strength grenades! Boom. Yeah! Take that one! No! I can't do anything with Krillin! I don't know him at all. Rap. But yeah, that's my take on the patch. There's not a lot that I have to talk about with it, but, like, I'm happy with the changes, and we'll probably be getting another balance patch in, like, six months. Oh, nice. Ah! Just keep throwing the rocks, you'll win! I did it! <laughs> <laughs> Barely scrapped by. <clears throat> um, okay, so... Smash Direct also happened last... We talked about it last time, um, and it actually happened. So you guys made some... predictions, and some of the rumors were actually true. Which is kind of funny. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> but I think what there was interesting go. about this Direct is that there was a leak, but Nintendo was the one who leaked it. Um, they accidentally uploaded the music a little early, and it was a Castlevania music, and it had Castlevania icon. So everyone's like, oh, well, Simon Belmont. Like, that's the only... That has to be what's happening. And that was true, but that wasn't the big reveal. That was <laughs> the first two minutes. 
and they just kept going the whole time with super cool and interesting things. Um, they so not only is Simon Belmont in, but Richter Belmont is his echo, um, which no one saw coming because who would expect Richter when it, um, if you had asked anyone, they would have said if Castlevania gets any rep, it will be either Simon or Alucard. And uh, it will only be one character. <laughs> but no, they got two characters. They got a stage with tons of like high quality assets from, from Castlevania. They got 34 music tracks. And, and this is trophy, did I say that already? I don't know. Um, but like, I don't know. I was surprised we got Snake. But I guess Konami is absolutely fine with other people making stuff for them. Like, sure, give us a paycheck. You can use all our stuff. <laughs> Rocks. Um, so after the Belmonts, we also got two Echo Fighters in Prom and Dark Samus, and then we also got King K. Rule. Um, all of these, to maybe Richter, have been highly requested characters, so it really feels like um, Sakurai is just like, who do people want? Alright, let's do our best to make them characters. Uh, because, like, King K. Rool is kind of a dead character. He hasn't been in any of the new Donkey Kong games. He hasn't been in a game for over a decade, I think. Um, but he was a heavily requested character, so they put him in. Krom was, from among Fire Emblem fans, a heavily requested character. Um, I know that everyone's like, Oh, we have so many Fire Emblems! Um, and, I don't know, it's, I don't You find sound that really passionate problem. about this. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just think it was funny how they, uh, in the last Smash game, Krom got snubbed and he, like, there was a line in the trailer where he says, maybe I'll get my chance another day, and totally did. Um, oh, shit. Oh, he did a wake-up level three. He's learned. <laughs> this is how you play fighters. <laughs> I mean, then... My yes! <laughs> This is really- no! Oh, how did he get that block? There's learned. no way. He's coming straight for you. Um, <clears throat> my favorite inclusion was Dark Samus, because I really like Metroid, and... So Dark Samus isn't like Dark Pit, or Dark Link, or all the other dark Nintendo characters, because Nintendo likes doing that. Um, dark Samus is a heavily mutated Metroid who... Ate Samus's um, Phazon suit, which we change these this team. So yeah, let's change it. <laughs> let's change it all the time. <laughs> that that sounds better. Um, and let's see, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Dark Samus is just a really cool character. I would have preferred for her to be her own character, not an Echo. But apparently, everyone is saying that she's already so much better than regular Samus, so no one's ever going to use regular Samus again, so it's like Dark Samus is her own character anyway. Um, mm. yeah, I swear, Nintendo or other companies, like, actually actively post these leaks under, like, these fake leaks and sometimes the real leaks, because, like, it just makes everyone talk about the game. It's like, it just Smart keeps marketing. The, the game hyped up, just like, yeah, just say that freaking Waluigi's back, like, or Simon, like, yeah, sure, why don't I just boil Simon, like, oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. But, like, I don't know, they're, that's kind of fishy that they're like, oops, we accidentally posted this music track, oh, that's a bad connection. This music track for, how long was it? Like, it was up for barely a second, but that was enough for people to freak out and latch on to. Yeah, and like... So it was the day before, right? Yeah, it was like the night before. And so like, every news outlet ever was covering it before the direct happened, so... I don't know. That's just... But anyway, the, the direct itself was really good. Um, it's like, they're trying their hardest to actually make the game worth $60. Like, you don't see that a lot, especially like with recent Nintendo titles. You're like almost cut from, like, m extra modes that you could have that could easily be added in, and Super Smash Brothers is actually doing that. They're just like, here, have literally everything. Have all these different modes that probably will only be used once. Have 800 tracks, have 103 stages. Like... 
have a smash meter. Have, <laughs> have like, did you ask for it? Did this one person ask for it? Then you got it. <laughs> you want stage switching in the middle of the match? Sure, why not? <laughs> They're turning into Oprah. Yeah. You get a character, you get a character, you get a character! You get a feature, you get a feature! Nah, we would be able to switch if we go to practice mode. But, um, yeah, I think Nintendo's reveal trailers are the best, honestly. They are, like... <laughs> Even if I didn't like the characters, and like even though I love Castlevania the series, like I'm kind of indifferent towards Simon Belmont, but that trailer was so cool. Especially where they killed Luigi. <laughs> they killed Luigi. They made Simon super hype, and then Richie Richter out of nowhere. It's just like I don't know. I like the director going above and beyond with this game. So, um, it's happened in the news, but I don't think any of us really care, and I thought that'd be funny to talk about how much we don't care about it, um, but there was the gameplay reveal for Red Dead Redemption 2, a lot of people are freaking out about it, it's Rockstar, they make really good games, a lot of people like Red Dead Redemption, um, I never played it, I'm not into Old West kind of stuff at all. And I can only handle a few open world games. Um, Cowboys isn't one of them. Yeah, Cowboys oh. is definitely not something that I am into at all. <laughs> I grew up in we grew up in uh, a podunk small town where cowboys ran rampant, and I've had enough of cowboys in my life to. <laughs> ever need to want to be one again. Uh, but, you know, let's get the I'm sure balls. <laughs> I'm sure that uh yes. it'll still sell incredibly well. It's a rock star game. It's a lot of people really like the original Red Dead Redemption as well. Like So I'm sure it'll sell really well. I'm sure it'll probably win a bunch of game of the year of the awards. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> revive revive uh, Vegeta. No, that would be stupid. Because it'll miss the silver. Um, Restore oh. my health. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. And then... That's about... Everything. Yeah, I don't really... Uh, I've never played Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> So, I don't really have an opinion on the matter. Yeah, I... It's... Not that fun of a game. Well, I, I shouldn't say that, because I've never played it. It's just that I can't handle much open world games. I like them, but like, there's only one or two that I'll ever play, just because I don't have time for them. They're just too much to do. Yeah, I've never... Uh played a Rockstar game. Not GTA, not Red Dead, uh, their type of open world game, just I've never seen gameplay that looked appealing to me. Um, everyone who plays GTA seems to just run and gun like civilians and stuff, and that I, I'm one of those people who can't play the evil roots in like those Star Wars games. Um, I have to go to the light side, I can't handle being evil, so the entire appeal of GTA was lost on me. And in Red Dead, you're playing a cowboy outlaw, and I don't even really care about this. Hey, look at this, Jacob. How is he talking? How is he low tier stuff? You're destroying with Vegeta Blue. Well, that's because I'm against this guy that's <laughs> bought the game today. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably true. Cool. Um, but, uh, I played GTA 5, I liked it a lot. Um, I think I think Rockstar does really well in the open worlds. Like GTA V was huge. It had so many different systems going on. Like it felt like a real world. There's like animals and stuff walking around in nature. And it's a really good game. But and I'm like Jolo too. I when I played Kotor, I 
I couldn't be evil when I played Mass Effect. I couldn't be I couldn't be evil in that game either. Um, in GTA, something changes in your brain, and it's not evil anymore. You're just like, I'm just gonna run this guy over because the game doesn't work that well. <laughs> it still was fun, and they they've improved the controls a lot. But if you drive at all in that game, you're gonna kill somebody, no matter what. Even if it's by accident, there's like a lot of YouTube videos of like cops trying to play the game and not break the law, and they just can't do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's still crazy fun. But again, I can only handle a few open world games. And what about Cowboys? Just is alone. Yeah, I'm sure. Like the first game got really good scores, right? Yeah, it was really good. It got. Very well. I'm sure this one will be, you know, good. I haven't played any Rockstar games, but, like, they always get, like, good scores and people always say nice things about them, so, like, it'll probably be good. Um, they have all the money in the yet. world to make it a nice, good game. Yeah, I just, it's not like my kind of game. But more power to you if you like that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with liking a game. Um, so, kind of lump these into one category. Bethesda's had a interesting week. Um, started off. Well, I don't think it started off, but it started off with me with uh, QuakeCon, and they had their panel there, or their conference, whatever they call it. <laughs> um, they're E3, Ooh. that's not E3. Wake up level 3s, it's gonna get them! Dude, Dragon Rush, Dragon Rush. Oh, you gotta get 16 back. Oh no! Um, but... I watched it just so that I could see do the Doom internal gameplay reveal. Um, we played Doom last time. I love Doom. I was so ready for it. Um, but I was not as ready as I thought I was. Like, holy crap. It looks so good. I haven't seen it. Like, is there anything different about this one? There's a lot different. Um, so... The shotgun has a grappling hook. Yeah, the shotgun, the super shotgun has a grappling hook now, so you can <laughs> grapple onto enemies from, like, anywhere and just kill them. And just go straight towards them and then start you know, unleashing Doom Guy's wrath on him. Did that work? It worked! <laughs> <laughs> Low level! <laughs> this guy's so mad now. I hear it, he's like, no! Um, the grappling hook adds a lot to the game. It's insane to think about, like, how much verticality and how much... Uh, it just changes, like, the game. Because now, like, if you see an enemy that's far away, Dragon Rush. Oh, there you go. Um, if yeah. you see an enemy that's far away, you can just grapple towards him and... Wake up level 3, let's see if he does it too. No. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> see, look how good we do with Vegeta Blue. Um... No. Yeah, he took out three. almost three characters. Almost three. And he even won. Uh, but, uh... There's the grappling hook, there's... Oh gosh, it's... Okay, it's Vegeta. Maybe I can play Vegeta. Um... The... They added... Kind of a co-op... Online element... Oh man! 60... This guy's not bad. That's not what I wanted from that! Get out of here! Oh no! Yeah, I'll have works. to. I'll have to watch the tr the trailer. Ah! It's like 25 minutes. They did like 25 like... minutes oh, of really? gameplay. It's pretty crazy. So, is there just more monsters to kill? More monsters, new monsters. Um, the grappling hook. We've got like a shoulder cannon that can do a couple things. Like and he has thrower. he has a blade inside of his wrist. <laughs> yeah, so like that he can kill kills, people he, with. Like cuts people ah, in half man. with it. The glory kills now. Damn, that's really cool. Ah. Um, there's what else happens? 
Yeah! Oh! I thought I did something cool for once. There's like extra lives somehow. I don't know how that He's works. He's really good at that. Um, oh goodness. Oh goodness. Get me out of here. The auto this combo. guy's so good! I thought I was okay in this game, but this guy's kick, kicking my trash. Yeah, blow up! Blow up. I don't know how to play base Vegeta at all. And he's dead. If you play him in the English um, voiceovers, like, it almost sounds like Chris Abbott is trying to imitate uh, Brian Dumb Dumbos? Like, I don't know, old Vegeta from Ocean Dub. It's. He's like trying to sound all raspy and princey and stuff, but ah! could no, also just no, be that. No, no, no! He's the only character I know how to use. Another Get choice just there. because he's so out out young in there. But yeah, I'm excited for Doom. When did the last one come out? 2016. 16. So it's been two years. Yeah. At the end of the reveal, they teased um, so like I don't know. They showed like a boss happening. And Zoom guy pulls out like just another sword. You know, he's got the one on his arm. Then he pulls out another one. And it's like a oh, giant. No, he did it. he did it. It's so. like a great sword. I am so not good with the object. And he I don't know what to do at all. You just press buttons. I am, and they're not working. <laughs> oh! Get the dragon balls. See, so, yeah, it looks really cool. They showed like a little story thing where. Doom guy just like walks into a, I don't know what it is, like some space station. He just walks in, and um, <clears throat> you know, everyone who's like you know trying to do their job is like, a fight going on, and they all just like stop and like, super intimidated <laughs> as Doom guy walks by. They're like, I need you, Doom guy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's Wolfgang Fist, so it doesn't do anything, but at least I got that. Like, a, a guard shows up and is like, hey, uh, you can't beat- oh. Oh. <laughs> it's Doom Guy! He's gonna keep doing it! Yeah, I will. Sometimes. I'm gonna go down to the very, uh, trailer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, so he, uh, everybody's super scared of the Doom guy, and then the best part is where he just grabs the one guy by the, the key card lanyard <laughs> and just drags him by the neck to lock the door. But, uh, yeah. And then they, Bethesda has been trying to push for crossplay. And Sony has been kind of against it. Um, they have been threatening that they're not going to put Elder Scrolls Legends on PS4 if they don't. But and some people are like, "Yeah, Bethesda," but honestly, I don't think Sony could care less about Elder Scrolls Legends. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's purely a PR move, and that Elder Scrolls Legends will still be on the PS4 even without the crossplay. Because why would they miss out on that? There's some people who only want to play it on PS4, probably. Oh my gosh, people freaking pressing buttons. <laughs> um, I need to press buttons like everybody else! <laughs> buttons! <laughs> I feel like they needed a good VR move after they blocked the sale of a used game on Amazon, and everyone's like, okay, Bethesda, that's not okay. Yeah, it's... I don't know all the details about them blocking that used game. Um, they... Bethesda has a, a very unique approach. They are like consumer friendly and also developer friendly, um, and the, sometimes they'll really mix, which is unfortunate. Um, they did the review policy a, a year ago that was supposed to be more developer friendly for them, so that they don't have to have developers going crazy on crunch to try to make a game good before, you know, weeks before it comes out and they could just actually work on it and release it and not have to, you know, again, with crunch and everything, but then people hated it because, you know, 
it just kind of looks like you're not confident in your games if you're not letting the press review it early. And the press hated it because they actually had to crunch as much. <laughs> they had to play the game at the same time as everybody else did, and then try and get a review out as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, maybe somewhere in the world we can find, or somehow we can find a a developer or publisher will be able to find a way to be consumer friendly and developer friendly, but I don't. I think the biggest problem is that a lot of consumers don't care that developers have to go through what they have to go through. They just want their games and they want them to be good. They don't care that developers sometimes work 80 hour weeks, like one week, 80 hours. They just don't care. They're like, whatever, just make my game. Um, so it's kind of unfortunate, but. It's the world we live in right now. Uh, honestly, my perspective is that I don't. I've never been a fan of these games. I I always try to just buy my games when they come out, or at least new. I want the money to go to the people that made the game, not GameStop, not somebody else. But I'm not against people that use used games or do buy used games because they're cheaper. And if you are low on money and you want to play a game, and sometimes the only way to get it is use that's fun too. Uh, but, yeah, I have a weird perspective on everything in life. No, oh no! no! <laughs> you did <laughs> Good job! <laughs> it's not gonna kill because of Spark being fun. Actually, it might. It might. Oh! oh! Yamcha buff! Yeah, that was one of the things that was buffed, was one thing this. So it's not good at a level 3, bro. Um, this is gonna go all, <laughs> all five games. <laughs> and now it's me, so we're gonna lose. <laughs> Base Vegeta is definitely like a harder character to learn. This is the five seconds that I've played him. <laughs> Uh, yeah. He doesn't work like normal Vegeta. He I does, think, but doesn't. Yeah, his normals are like Vegeta, but he's different from his specials, so... Dude, get the Dragon Balls, that's the, that's the key. Just press the A button. Square button? <laughs> 16 do anything against 16's range. Oh, look, the character I know how to use. Yeah, just keep doing that with Yamcha. Just keep teleporting behind him. Oh, the armor. I thought that got rid of that super armor. No, just for like projectiles, I think. Okay, so the last thing before we get into our main topic is the whole thing with the IGN editor that apparently plagiarized everything he ever did there. Um, Which is I'm, like one thing. <laughs> yeah, he was there for a while. Wait, what? what? Yeah. I thought. He, that was like the first thing that he wrote. It was the first thing he did himself, so it was obvious that he plagiarized it. Um, I think some of the other stuff that people have been finding have been... Um, oh, dang it. Have been stuff that he did before IGN. Oh. Because um, he was a YouTuber beforehand, and people have been finding that he's... Um, that almost everything he did was plagiarized. Like, he did a... I don't know if it was for IGN or before that. Um, he did a preview for Fire Emblem Warriors before that came out, and um, oh, I can hold it. Up. Bars. Um, and it was almost word for word from some Spark. small Nintendo um, website, Nintendo Wire. Uh, so yeah, it, he was he's a scumbag. <laughs> I'm a writer. That's um, what I love to do the most. And to hear that someone was trying to get through based on their writing skill, another way to write everything. Yes. Oh, hold the button down. Hold the button. Hold it down. Yes. <laughs> this could kill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I have. Absolutely no sympathy for that IGN editor. He's no longer an IGN editor. IGN did the right thing. They fired him straight up, and then they contacted the people that he plagiarized and offered 
compensation for them because oh no oh no <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh no oh no his range this isn't good for Vegeta at all oh he's still got sparking yep oh no yes there you go come on oh no just level three do it just level three <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's that's over. over yeah you got close though. Um, I like what, um, what was the YouTube channel that kind of, the first reviewer for the Dead Cells game? Um, Boomstick. Yeah, something. Boomstick. I like what he said, he was interviewed by Forbes, and he said, like, he doesn't have any, he's a swell guy, he's like, he doesn't have any ill will towards him, and that he, um, doesn't, he says he wish wishes that he didn't lose his job because he, I guess, is jobless right now and he doesn't want that on anybody. Okay, Ginyu. All right. <laughs> Which I was better at explaining things, that but yeah, he's he's a swell guy. He just wanted to want everyone to be happy. I don't know. Like, I think people can learn from their mistakes. So like, it's. It's sad that this guy did that, but like, I don't know. As much as I change. respect the Boomstick guy for saying that, and that guy will never have a job in any capacity writing again. He is known forever as a plagiarizer, especially as all this stuff is coming out. No one is going to ever hire him. I know, that. it's, it's... It, it sucks, and it's sad, but like, I should have thought of that before he broke every writing ethics rule. Um, but, like, yeah, that doesn't sound very nice, but... Super nugget, though. Did, did we just fight him? Did we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I think we just did. If, if that's the case, you might say you just no. Just <laughs> dodge. Well, he won, so... He won, so he's gonna be like, yeah, I'll fight him again! Mm, Get really close up. every time. It is! It's the same guy. No, he's like, getting you in that. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought this was the same guy, and that's a completely <laughs> different team. <laughs> um, okay, so, yeah. Main topic for today uh, is our top or slash favorite five SNES games each. No, I didn't want to switch. Wait, no, crap. No, that's not what I wanted. No! I was gonna do the level. We'll switch bodies with the Vegeta. I wanna do the, the new yeah! the new double swap body tech that, that the top player. Trunks <laughs> auto combo is the best. Nobody can stop it. Oh crap, that was <laughs> No one can stop it. That was the worst me. thing to do in that situation. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Ah! This guy's not bad. He at least knows what to do at some certain points. But nobody beats the auto combo! Oh, yeah. Yeah, get the Dragon Balls. So, um... What was that? That was pretty cool! <laughs> I don't think that was a true combo. Oh no! I must spark! I'm not getting beaten by a Nappa! I must spark! You just oh, got no. whipped by a Nappa! That's never played Nappa! But I'm still gonna lose. Level 3? Nope, that was not the level 3. So when it comes Wait, to. Is level 3 is still. His level it's 3 is in, a. Um, the quarter circle back. But I think I. I think the button it, it, is different now. His, his level 3, you have to, it's a punch. Yeah, it's a so punch. It's kind of like a command grab. It, that might be wrong. Um. Burning attack! No, 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 no! Um, so yeah, when it comes to the SNES, for me, <laughs> it's all no! the RPGs. See, um, Trunks! No! <laughs> totally. Isn't I can't figure out. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's the person! <laughs> yeah! Wake up level three! Do it again! Oh, no, 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 no! I thought uh, my auto combo could beat it out. 
Yeah, I have a list. I'm really bad at remembering things off the top of my head, so I have a list of Super NES games um, on Google right now, just so I can remember. But yeah, Super NES games are cool. So, um, I'll start off. And so, these aren't any any particular order. I'm not gonna like say this is the number one best SNES game ever or whatever. I'm just gonna say what my five are. Um, so I really, really liked um, a lot of weird games because we we were totally kids that used emulators and ROMs, so we were able to get play games that weren't really. Dang it! I didn't want to do that. Oh, weren't really ones. ever available in America or just like kind of rare as well. <laughs> Um, one of them was Robotech. It's this really cool game where you can build your own robots um, and f have them fight for you. And like, it's not like a certain. It's not like, yeah, I built a robot, but it's like a same kind of robot that everybody else has. Like, you can mix and match a bunch of different components for the robot and do whatever you want with it. And there's a lot of combinations and. Um, the story was pretty cool too. You're, it was a super Japanese game because I mean, you're building robots, right? But um, that was a really cool game that I have a lot of fun memories of playing. Uh, another one was actually the SNES Dragon Ball Z RPG. I played that thing to death. I don't know what it was, but I loved that game. Um, it went through like the whole story of Dragon Ball Z, uh, from fighting Raditz all the way up. I, I don't think they got up to Kid Boo, but they might have. Um, but I know right, that... Are you ready for the freaking comeback? Yeah, Trunks! Um... Oh, wait. They... You get to go and see Goku become a Super Saiyan, and it had like this really cool combat system where like... Uh, you learn techniques, and then they're like, I want to say they were cards, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it seems but they, they were, were cards, and it, like, you just kind they of randomly were, pick them. Yeah, they would randomly come out, and then you get to choose which one, and like, um, so that was a game that I played a whole bunch. Uh, then there was also, um... The Sailor Moon RPG. <laughs> I liked that game a lot. I was a super huge Sailor Moon fan back in the day. Um, totally because I thought Sailor... Uh, not Sailor Moon. Uh, Sailor Mercury, right? The blue one, the blue one was super yeah. cute. <laughs> she was my waifu before any of waifus were. Uh... So, yeah, um, and it was a lot of fun to play too, like it had a pretty cool battle system, it was turn-based. Uh, it went through oh, the story that. of the anime as well, so like he started out in doing the one old lady that tried to suck everybody's souls with the jewels and then went to the carousel, and, or the theme park and stuff like that. Um, and then... Um, let's see. I'm having a hard time choosing between five. I think maybe... Um... Yeah, you know, I played all these games. Like, I just don't remember them very well. <laughs> <laughs> I was so young. Um, I think... A lot of the games that I did play on the SNES were RPGs. I didn't really do much plat with platformers in like Super Mario. I played Super Mario, of course. Because who hasn't? But um, Super Mario games have never been games that like I actually like beat and play all the way through. I played the first couple levels, I had more fun, and then I'm done. Um, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> all all they get you for. <laughs> if we don't have a body change, I'll be very mad. Um, <laughs> but another one that I really liked was Second and. Second in Setsu 3? I think that was one that we all oh! Get it! Yes! Yes! Get it! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! That is so awesome! 
He's pissed. <laughs> I don't know how to play with Vegeta. <laughs> oh, he's very mad. Uh, he is so mad. <laughs> I'm um, gonna mash that square button. <laughs> so, second time is Zed 2 3. Um, I did ever beat it. I played it a lot, but like we could, I don't think we ever found like an English translation. So it's all Japanese. No, we totally had an English translation. Oh, we did. Yeah, I remember playing it a lot. Yeah, I remember playing it a lot too. I don't remember a lot about it except that I really liked how you could pick like six characters at the beginning. Yeah, it's that's... like Octopath Traveler before Octopath Traveler. Yeah, it's kind of like a Octopath. This is in some ways like a spiritual successor to that. Yeah. Um. So and that was the main thing that I really liked about it as a kid. Like it kind of blew my mind that they gave you like all these different characters that you could pick, and each one like, was different in their own way. And like you could really customize your own party right at the beginning of the game. Of the game. So uh, yeah. Um, just one uh, honorable mention of mine that I just really thought of. <laughs> that I did play the crap out of was Contra 3. Oh yeah. Um, the Super Contra or whatever. I really like that game. I, it really like inspired me a lot seeing how they use different camera angles to make the gameplay change and feel different. Like the first level was pretty classic Contra, or Contra and then the next level was like top down and it completely changed the game. Um, Why aren't you dead? There you go. So, the last one that I'm going to do is Shadowrun. I love this game. Um, the SNES version, I didn't, I haven't played this, the Sega Genesis game, but um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. This guy doesn't know what to do, he's, he's finding counters. He's not bad. <laughs> and we're playing characters we don't normally play as, but he, I still have a hard time remembering to do down heavy when <laughs> he was expecting to make up level 3. <laughs> Get it! <laughs> oh, you guys. Yeah! The power Peter of with Vegeta your own Blue! <laughs> the power of Vegeta Blue. Um, so Shadowrun, SNES. This game was so ahead of its time. Um, we both ranked that. It introduced aiming with guns before guns and aiming were really a thing on console. I mean, at the time Doom was out on PC uh, so you could obviously play a first person shooter. This was not first person. But this was not a first person. It was a third person game. It wasn't it was, even it like was, third person. It was, it was like a top isometric down. Game. Yeah, it was more top down. It was top down mostly. Um, ah! Get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out! Get him out! Uh, dead. He's no, like, no, 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 no
What? Oh, he was waiting for that. Oh. He ain't expecting that Nappa. Ah! She's no! I don't want to lose! I don't want to lose! Ah. I like this. This, this, this is just Spanish. a Spanish game. <laughs> Ah! Nope, that's it. Oh, dang it. Um, yeah. It had so many different elements to it that made it just, like, so amazing. Um, if there, if there was a favorite game on the SNES that I had, it would be that game. I've beat it several times. Um, the story gets pretty crazy. You fight, a, like, a eternal dragon at the end. And, uh, but even then, like, it has, like, this story, this section of the story where you get into, a uh, an underground fighting ring and you have to battle your way out of it. It's so cool. I love that game so much. Um, when they announced the re- like, they were redoing it, Shadowrun Returns, um, I was so excited. It's basically this SNES game just with pretty graphics, which is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> what? 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 So yeah, those are mine. Let uh, Joseph do it since he's not playing. Oh yeah. my goodness, I don't want Kunio to die! And so, he's almost dead. All No, he's not mine. dead, he's not dead. <laughs> Get him out! Almost all of mine are gonna be RPGs, um, since this is what I like to do. Um, so, I... Nice! <laughs> Nappa's combos all look really cool, but they're really hard to actually pull off. Um, so I guess in no particular order, I'll start with the not RPG on the list. Um, Super Metroid. Uh, I'm a huge, I already said, I, I'm a huge Metroid fan. Um, my first Metroid game was Metroid Prime. Um, but ever since then, I've played every Metroid game. And uh, I understand why Super Metroid is adored as it is. Because um, I adore it. It's, it's uh, what... It's yeah! Boom! Right in the gut. <laughs> it's what solidified Metroidvania. It was the, you know, it's the Metroid part of Metroidvania, and it uh, really brought that series and that um, genre into. I don't know. It, it's like the highlight of the genre. It's what really started it. The first Metroid kind of sucked. Um, <laughs> Super Metroid was just really good. And then Nintendo didn't touch it for two generations until Metroid Prime. It's been! Um, so there's Met Super Metroid, that's one. Why do you switch? Um, uh, I don't have, before you die, I don't, don't have meter. meter. Dang it. Get him out of there, get him out of there! Keep him alive! I don't know what button it is to. Okay. <laughs> I'm used to my custom control. Oh, these aren't custom? No. These are, these are default. So then, just for all the RPGs, um, Chrono Trigger is obviously... Vanish, the game starts <laughs> happen. Uh, <laughs> Dang it, I thought it was Chrono Trigger. That's not true, though. Chrono yeah. Trigger is considered one of the best RPGs of all time, and while I don't know if I completely agree, I still absolutely love it. Um, and I've played it and the DS version, and I'll... You know, <laughs> <laughs> Just keep the pressure. <laughs> yeah, that left. He used all this bar. Oh, no. Uh, no, he doesn't have any bar. No, freaking button. You should not be able to whip auto combo. That is the dumbest thing. All right, I almost have three bars. Okay, three bars. Body switch. <laughs> Get him coming towards you. Then body switch. Square has mostly fixed the. the piece Ooh, of work of I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> so triggered. <laughs> this guy's like, yay! We should do like a top tier or like top tier team next time we see him. If we um, so yeah, Chrono Trigger, 
Um, I also really like Final Fantasy VI, um, which was Final Fantasy III back then. I haven't beaten it, because when I was playing it as a kid, um, <laughs> I got to, um, right before the world gets destroyed by Kafka, and I just... You know, I spoilers, man. <laughs> If, you need, if you're worried about spoilers for Final Fantasy VI. Um, so I got to the part where the world breaks or whatever, and I thought that that was going to be the last boss. And so I was like, I'm still missing two characters. And so I just played for hours looking around trying to find the... Uh, trying to find the two other characters, which was like this model snowman and Mog. I didn't realize you get them until after that event, because I, I just thought I was at the end game. And I wasn't, so I never beat it. And then I got it, or I think Jacob got it on the Game Boy Advance, and I never was able to beat it there either. And so, it's one of my favorites, but I don't care. Let's just ignore that. Um, Dude, I got halfway through that game too, on the Game Boy, and my save file either got corrupted or whatever, got uh, deleted itself, and... That, uh, that's the last time I played. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then another one, so that was three. Another one is Earthbound. Um, Ooh, don't. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was a bad connection. I really liked Earthbound. Um, it, especially back in the day, it, um, it was just really different, and really weird, and it's really unfortunate that they made the marketing <laughs> so bad. Um, but I think it's really great. It's Mother Three is better in every way. But we don't have Mother Three, so Mother Three is actually the only one I've beaten. And it's been like ten years, but I'd still consider it to be one of my favorites. Maybe I'll take okay. my mind if I play it again. But um, or oh, Super Mario RPG. Um, that is I, a good one. I forgot about. I played that so much. Uh, I I love that game. I love the combat system. I was just amazed that it's two of my favorite things, Mario and RPGs, were together. Um, so I played it a lot, and I was really hoping that Geno makes it into Smash, because I would love that, and it admit, it would force Square and Nintendo to you know, admit that he's an actual character that still exists, and maybe they'd do something with him. You might need to change the settings, so... I mean, yeah, the... We're not getting anything. Um, and then as a as a honorable mention, I'm gonna say just the Donkey Kong Country series. Mostly because King K. Rool was um, announced and I've been reminiscing about them and listening to the Gangplank Galleon remix. That could look. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been Some listening to the remix that they made for Gangplank Galleon on repeat for over the past and over week. And over. It's, I think it's been annoying everyone here. <laughs> well, I really like it too. That's a really good remix. Yeah, so th those are my five. Um, Super Mario RPG is really good. I, I'll actually forget about that game. I can't believe I actually did forget about it either. Or as well. Um, yeah, I I like I love that game as well. I played it a bunch. Um, oh, poor guy. Ooh, it, <laughs> we might actually win! <laughs> Some Gonzo, that's a cool name. Um, the coolest thing that I think about that game is that it came out like wasn't it like five years after the SNES was done or something like that. Which one? RPG. Super Mario RPG. Um, it I think to it was really near the end. It was yeah. I think the SNES was. I think, I think, think they were the, already the starting. Yeah, the introduction on like the N sixty four and stuff when it came almost out. out or already out. Then Super Mario RPG came out. And then Square the was like, "Yo, let us make an RPG," and they're like, "Okay." <laughs> Get, get him out of there! Get him out of there! Ah, crap. I should know how to play against Vegeta. I'm gonna get... Okay. No! Ah! I'm not playing smart right now. Oh no. I've never played that. Just do his armored moves. And what is that? Do a forward. Quarter circle forward. If you ever get out of court. <laughs> this guy... <laughs> I must suck so bad. We were all like, oh, he doesn't have very many wins, we've got this, and he just starts wrecking the floor with us. He's like a stealth character. Get out of here! With that. Oh, come on! I can do that corner combo with him. 
Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no! Yeah, auto combo! Here's a present for you! Yeah! Oh, no. Oh, but auto combo! Get out of here again! <laughs> I guess for me, um, it's been so long, like there's, I guess in no particular order at all. It does not work with probably just pushing buttons, he's just too slow. Just because of nostalgia reasons, I'll say, uh, Turtles in Time. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's another good one. <laughs> like, whenever I play it, it's super fun. Um, it, admittedly, it's like very far and few in between, but whenever I play it, it's always fun. Um, there's not really a lot to say about it except I grew up with it, played it with my brothers, and it's still has very fond memories of it. Um, I don't really know. I like Chrono Trigger a lot, which Joseph Hardy talked about. I get out of here with that. Um, I don't know. Like, I love Chrono Trigger, but like Joseph, I don't think it's like. I what? What? I, what? I completely missed all that. I was talking and like, <laughs> I thought for sure we were done. <laughs> Somehow Broly came through and won. Broly's like, best. completely spaced oh, out. Yeah, Joseph, since you're, uh, you're so you can win. Uh, <laughs> the, the poor guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, um... So... Where'd you win that? You never win anything clashing with Vegito. You must not press the right button. When I think of a game that I really, really like, it's a game that like I pick up and then just play non-stop forever until I beat it. And there's only a few games that have managed to have me do that. And I don't think any of them have been on the... Okay, maybe one of them. But um, there are plenty of like really, really good games on the... NES that I really like, um, but with that said, there's not a lot for me to say about them, like with Chrono Trigger, like it's already been talked about, and me and my brothers usually share opinions, but, um, Super Mario RPG, of course, um, not Super a lot. Okay, Super Mario World, I freaking love that. Nice. That's how you use Broly! <laughs> <laughs> you just spam that over and over again. Oh no. Dead. So, yeah, I really like Super Mario World. All the platformers are things that I really enjoy playing. Um, and it was just really imaginative. Like, whenever I think of the new Super Mario Brothers games, and I'm sure everyone always says this, but, like... Oh, nice. <laughs> um, they say how like unoriginal they are and you know they're right um i think obviously got pretty original no the the new super mario brothers like that, oh, that oh. series yeah oh. so yeah odyssey and all the 3d games like i really like but that's because they did something new <laughs> but like with all the <laughs> yeah just keep doing that <laughs> um You can see within the, the first. Yeah, there. Oh, there it is. There's the level three. Oh, nice. And I, you cancel it. I don't know. I didn't think that would work. I was like, oh no, I am switching. But yeah, between the first three Super Mario Brothers games, four, I mean, like you see so much like creativity. Where, like each game is so different, and they even control slightly differently for platformers. Um, like all different oh, enemies oh, and no. all different stages. So, nice. yeah, I like Super Mario World for nice! the originality. Yeah. <laughs> it's level 3 of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that I really, really enjoy the Donkey Kong Country series. Uh, especially the first one. Donkey Kong is really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, another game that has popped into my head that's an honorable mention, is, um, Evo. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Dude, I yeah. love that game Definitely so much. Pretty sure that was one of those that we had to cheat to beat. <laughs> it, it got super hard at the end. 
the game got like impossibly hard at the end. But uh, like this, the difficulty curve wasn't like a curve; it was just like a was... straight slope, <laughs> like a straight up. Um, but that game was so cool and so imaginative for an SNES game. Like it, like took. Oh, oh no! Poor guy. He started out so strong. I know. Because he played against me. I I suck so bad with new characters. It's not even funny. Um, yeah, uh, definitely have Evo on my top. Like, that's definitely... I have a lot of good things to say about that game. Like, that could use some improvements, but, like... I mean, it's not the best game ever, right? Like, I had... It was... What, it, the coolest thing, I think, about the SNES was that a lot of developers were able to just try new things out because it was so successful and you could make games pretty easily for it. Um, so there's a lot of like experimentation and stuff like that. Oh, we didn't change our team. Uh, I didn't get to play it, so... Oh, that's fine. Yeah, uh, so... But, like, it, it's one of those games where it's like... It sticks to its theme so strongly that, like, you can't help but adore it. Like, evolution, like, is in the name. And, like, you evolve throughout the game, you start as a little fish, and then you grow legs, and then you become a human, and, like... Not exactly immediately after that. Not a, I mean, there's stages in between where, like, you're a weird dinosaur kind of a thing, but, uh... You literally evolve from, like, the beginning of time, life, to, like, a stone man, cave person kind of a thing. And it's... I don't know. It's one of those games where it's, like, if you want to learn how to make a game around a certain thing, you go look at that game. Because that's how you... That's how you do it. <laughs> and um, Mega Man X. I like Mega Man X a lot. Uh, I've never beat it. We had Mega Man X 4 on the PlayStation 1, and that was my, my first Mega Man game. I think it was our first Mega Man game for all of us. Mm -hmm. But ever since coming back, I've been playing Mega Man X. Um... With all this, like, nostalgia that Nintendo's trying to cash in on with the SNES Classic and the NES Classic, I got my own Raspberry Pi and made my own because I couldn't find any anywhere, so I was like, screw you, Nintendo. They've gotten better, and they're in stock more now, but it's too late for me, because I've already gotten it. Um, but, yeah, so I... Um, I've been going back and playing through Mega Man X, and it's really cool. So back to your list. Uh, yeah, my I, I thought you did all five. <laughs> no, no, no. My number one that is like definitely my favorite, like number one for sure, is Super Metroid. Like I've only played it once, but it left a really big impact on me. Um, it's just like I watched a video by Mark Brown recently. He compared the first Metroid with its remake and how so different they are, like the first one is super hard to know where to go and it's like almost too exploration heavy. And then the remake, they tried to fix that by being almost entirely too linear. And so, I think Super Metroid is like the balance, like there's enough to go on to where you know where you're going but you also have to like find out where to go. <laughs> if that makes sense, it's hard trying to play this at the same time. Oh, is that your last one? Uh, is that all five? I I totally thought you did all five. That's why I kept going. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> you're... I think that was like number four. Right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't have many. Um, I just. Choo choo! <laughs> Auto combo! <laughs> but yeah, Super Metroid, I have to replay it, but it's just like. Really. I don't know, it just makes exploration fun. Like, where am I and where do I go? And it's just all very. You know, you get stuck every once in a while, but it's. I don't know, it's just exploration probably done the best, which is weird because it was made in 1994. And I still think it hasn't been thought, but of course I haven't played that many games to be good enough. That's my list. 
Um, so, uh, that's really all we had planned for today. Um, I do kind of want to see this match play out, though. <laughs> But we can try to pretend to be commentator, but oh, I do our <laughs> do our audition for Evo commentators. <laughs> I can't believe funny. he dropped that combo. <laughs> oh, look at this night! Oh no, he dropped the combo. Oh no, what what is this? What is this low level gameplay? Come on, guys, come we're on. at Evo. We gotta you gotta you gotta bring your A game. Come on, what is this? Come on, green squares. Come on. <laughs> this is the this is the world stage. You gotta show you gotta show what you've made of. Oh, okay, we got. Mishima, oh, he dropped that combo. <laughs> oh, but he switched into Bardock. What's Bardock got? He's got his... Oh, he's, he just whiffed that level one. What is that? Come on, Mishima. Oh, man. <laughs> but, uh... Should have, a, like, a training session, though. Oh, my gosh, that's Broly's best move. I freaking love that. Like, he just freaking rams you right into the corner. <laughs> I always thought that, like... Oh, that was good you didn't attack. You that. Hit hard. Um, There's a present for you. <laughs> oh no! Um, you didn't like my present. You must suffer, Kakarot. Um, that actually kind of reminds me. Uh, I talked about shows that I, we talked about like the shows that we've been watching and stuff last time. Um, it's not airing anymore, but I was watching Dragon Ball Super like crazy. <laughs> it's not the best thing. It definitely has its weaknesses and its flaws, and it's definitely just. I think that at times it's definitely like phoned in, but that doesn't mean that I still didn't love it. That's a really fun show to watch. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, despite like, its flaws, it's really fun to watch. I mean, like at this point in the canon, like they're so powerful that like it doesn't really matter how strong they are. They, oh, we're at the level of gods, but it doesn't really matter. They're still strong enough that, like, theoretically, with how what they've done, they could theoretically like shift the planet off its gravitational pull <laughs> from the sun if they just punched hard enough. Seriously, like at six, like I know power levels aren't supposed to be a thing, but like when Vegeta was at his what eighteen eighteen thousand is when he was introduced in the series. Like he could blow up a planet in the filler, but it was, yeah. it was still. You know, whatever. And Frieza could blow up a planet. Like, you'd think Super Saiyan Blue, like Goku and Vegeta, would, like, destroy a continent with, like, one punch, but, like. Is he gonna make a comeback? Don't let him, Joseph! But, uh, seeing Broly fight Super Saiyan Blue Goku reminded me of the Broly movie coming out. Um. When I first heard that it was gonna be Broly, I was a little bit upset. I was like, this is Tritted Water already, you could do something more original, but that trailer sold me uh, a thousand percent. <laughs> it's like the best Dragon Ball trailer I've ever I seen. I know, it, it looks so good. One of so the best good. movie trailers I've ever seen, like, they hype everything up so well, and like, the animation is so nice and clean. Oh my gosh, Dragon Ball looks so good, like, for the first time in a while. <laughs> like, they, they stepped it up with the end of the Tournament of Power arc. Like, the last few episodes look really well, or really good, too. Oh, goodness. Ow. Oh, the switcheroo. Yeah. But it, uh... I'm so used to other people! I'm not used to the short normals. Okay, let's do this. I think Come on, Broly! The point of Dragon Ball Super to begin with was that he wanted to remove, like, power levels and... Like, he wanted to after the Frieza saga, but now he's just, like, reinforcing it. Like, you can't sense their energy anymore, guys. They're gods. Like, don't even worry about it. Like, Trunks can take on Fusamasu, it's fine. With the Spirit Sword and cut him in half, cut a <laughs> With mortal the in Spirit half. Bomb Sword charged by 30 people. <laughs> um, but... I hope that the movie doesn't just... isn't just, like, a retread of the old Broly movies, but I am hopeful that they do good with the story, but even if it's a completely garbage story, I it still looks so pretty that I won't care at this point. <laughs> like, that, again, that trailer, like, oh my gosh, that first shot with, uh, 
where Broly comes out and just rams into Vegeta, like, that gives me chills to this day, still watching know, it 50 like, times, like, just seeing Vegeta just, just his like, smirk, his like, smirk. A lot reminds me of, like, the old 90s animation Dragon Ball Z, and that just makes me super hyped. I just remember seeing, like, Broly vs. Goku, Broly vs. Vegeta, Broly vs. Frieza, I was like, excuse me? <laughs> like, what? Broly versus everybody in the canon, then he's gonna just destroy. Um, Although I do wish they would, like, make... They tried to do this during the Tournament of Power, but, like, I wish they would make everyone else viable again. That's how you do that. I remember now. Like, they tried to be and like, Oh, Krillin, like, you're, you're really strong. Master Roshi, you're really strong now. Or, like, Tien, you've trained. Wow. Like... And then Yamcha was okay. left out of the Tournament of Power. Because so. it's Yamcha. <laughs> oh, come on. I actually feel really bad for this guy. He has like... 8 wins out of 30. Get out of here with that. Pro Stupid Barba crap. <laughs> um... And yeah, then, uh, that's, like, that's my one wish for, like, Dragon Ball. I just want everyone to be viable again. Like, my favorite fight in all of Dragon Ball is uh, Goku versus Vegeta the first time, just because everyone has their, like, say in it. Like, even Yajirobe, like, he... <laughs> he... <laughs> he comes back and he cuts Vegeta's tail off, and then slashes him through his armor in the back. Because he's doing that really scared of the dirt bag. Get out of here, Mishima! So, like, yeah, it was, like, Vegeta's way too powerful, like, whatever, but, like, Gohan and Krillin come and help help out Goku, get the spirit bond, like, and eventually, somehow, they win, but it's just, like, so much, like, I don't know, strategy and stuff. Yeah. So, I don't know, I just hope that they can get to the point where they can bring a villain in and Krillin and... TN can come in and be like, oh my gosh, we can help guys, we're good now. <laughs> <laughs> we've been training, we've become superhumans. I mean, if, I Trunks, mean, if Trunks can take on Fusamasu, like... At this point, like, in Super, Tien oh. is like as strong as Goku was when he was fighting Cell. Like, or even stronger, like probably even Kid Buu status when he's Super Saiyan 3, like... The low tier characters are so strong now that, like, if they went to go back in the beginning of Dragon Ball Z, they would just be like this unstoppable train. But, like, <laughs> it's a. Uh, I don't know. It makes me so happy that I can sit there and watch a show that I grew up on as a kid, as an adult, and find new things about it and just geek out over it on an adult level <laughs> instead of just like a teenage level. Yeah, he's so big and strong! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. I think we've been going long enough now, uh, so thanks for listening. There's 15 views on the first episode, which was more than I actually expected. Um, if you do watch this, please leave a comment on the video and let us know what we, what we can do better, any suggestions or anything. Um, but till next time, I'm John I'm with Joseph and Jacob, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>